So this whole system runs on a key fob. This isn't actually a key. This is how you power the unit up. Fob's got to be in your vest or close to the proximity. It's a proximity key. Um, once it's act active and close, everything unlocks. All of these are magnetically locked. So if it's key fobs is with you, you walk away from the bike. Boom. Everything's locked out, which is really handy. So, at the start of it, yes, because of the size of the bike that it is, you can imagine a full load with a passenger. You pull up to coffee station, co coffee shop, or something like that. You now have a bit of a you know two percent grade. You're not gonna be able to push this bike back up to get out. It has an electronic parking system, fell shirt park. Pull that down and engages it. Once it's engaged, you now have this rocker switch, which is a dedicated electric motor to move this bike back and forth. So you can actually, whether it's in your garage or you're in a weird parking spot, you can actually move this motorcycle around. This infotainment system pretty much is the same as you'd have any high-end car now. I think the battery's getting low on this thing. So GPS, this is full navigation, separate communication systems for rider and passenger. Passenger has access to controls back here for their own heated grips, for their sound system back here. This thing's got a really robust, loud, and impressive sound system in it, uh, front and back. Uh, so you can have comms is in here. You can actually set up a separate intercom right here. All of this can be run on the touch screen or right here through this D-pad. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh yeah. All the communication stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, you said there's another guy in the tower? Yeah. So every type of plug in you can imagine here for comms or phones you can plug into here. It's also USB in the trunk. Vehicle information. Same with any car that you can think of right now, has all this stuff. I don't just yell at piece that's good. Yeah. Um, what else can I show Anything you? Anything else on the bike? Yeah, I'm going to function here. So, separate heat front and back for grips for rider and passenger. Separate heat for seats for rider and passenger. Windscreen. If you sit on it, you bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is adjustable. It's power up and down. You can either do it from the screen or from here. Okay. On the D pad. We have different modes, just like most of our motorcycles now, which actually change the tuning. Um, so this is in sport, you can see right here, sport or touring. Changes actually the, uh, the fuel and um, ignition delivery. So you go from a smooth ride to incredible power. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 1900. It makes maximum horsepower about 3,000 3, RPM. So it's low. So you get long cruising range, it's really good on fuel, six speed, um, and huge amount of torque, massive, massive torque. Huge torque, huge, huge. huge. What else can I tell you about this thing? Yeah, let's take the trunk. This space here. This is not removable, this is an integral part of the whole system. You can, you can, it's huge. Yeah. Um, traction control, ABS. Um, the exhaust was actually tuned by Yamaha Music, so they were involved in the whole development and they were brought in to help tune it.
You got flaps here to open up to let cool air in or keep cool air out when you're when it's cold. I call this the air conditioning right here. It's like an old VW. <laughs> um, I think that's most of the key features of it. Yeah.